This is a super fast walkthrough of Backbone and CoffeeScript. Hit the pause button, grab a copy of the source code, and let's walk through it. It'll be a scheduling lunch app where you'll pick a bunch of restaurants and plop, on, plop them on the calendar so you can plan out your lunches for the week. The container is the scheduled page. It'll have a list view on the left, details for every single item of restaurants, an edit pane, and a calendar view. It'll look like this, and it actually exists like so. List, clicking on the details, edit pane, cancel, and it'll show up on the calendar once you've saved. Our index page has the JSON, passes it into the schedule page, the schedule page receives it, creates a collection, and creates a view. This view is the list view on the left. It, in turn, knows how to create the individual detail views. So it has the models, iterates through, creates, creates these detail views, passing in a model. The detail view is fairly simple. It creates, it renders using, the, it initializes with a template, handlebars template, renders with that model and that template. Listens to any click events, so it calls this update edit pane, triggers an event so that anyone else that needs to know that it was selected, in, in this case the, ed, the edit pane, will receive that event. As you can see, the edit pane is listening to on its initialize, the visit selected, calls the handle visit selected method, shows itself, and when you save and cancel, these events are bound to the, uh, the, the view as well. The save is here. It grabs the attributes from the DOM, sets the model, triggers another event, and in this case, the listener is on the collections where it is receiving the event, handle visits confirmed, adding a model, and this is nicely decoupled from this. The add in the calendar view is bound uh, to the add event and calls the handle event there. So a, the model that was edited here is listened to on the collections and automatically is received that model and bound to the calendar. Uh, and that's basically it. Some of the more interesting details include the application.coffee, where we show you how the app event is created, the backbone sync, and if you have any questions, please feel free to email myself, George, or Matt. Hope that helped.